Question says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm a 23 year old male, and for the last four or five years, I've been facing a mental disorder. I've been to numerous psychiatrists, psychologists, and I have received different diagnoses from each one. Some saying it is unspecified anxiety disorder, and others saying it is OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. Uh, anyways, Allah knows best what it is. For the most part, Alhamdulillah, I'm able to work and go to school, and I'm finishing my degree. I'm in my final year of university, but life is definitely not easy or pleasurable as it used to be. Some days the disorder gets really bad, where all I want to do is just sleep, and I'm so fatigued. And other days I'm much better, and I'm able to work hard, etc. I'm currently on medication for the treatment of this, and alhamdulillah the medication has helped a little, but has not cured it completely. My psychiatrist is cycling me on different forms of medication to see what will work best for me. So please make the offer for me that I find a treatment that will allow me to live a normal life. With that being said, I do have a strong desire to marry, but fear that because of my disorder, I will not be able to fulfill the certain rights of a wife. Alhamdulillah, I'm able to fulfill the psych, uh, uh, physical rights of a wife, but I fear I will not be able to fulfill the emotional and social rights of a wife because of this current issue I'm dealing with. In other words, because of what I'm going through, sometimes become very antisocial, quite uh, introverted and fatigued. Also, sometimes I just want to lock myself up and not to talk to anyone because of how the ailment makes me feel. But other days, I'm completely fine. I'm able to provide for myself through my work and job, alhamdulillah, but also fear that my fatigue and tiredness all the time that comes from it is current thing I'm going through. I might not be able to fulfill the financial rights of a family and a wife. I'm so confused as I do not want to get into a situation in which my current health is not on par. But at the same time, it is very hard for me to control my natural strong male desire. Your opinion will be appreciated on whether I should get married or should avoid marriage in my life altogether out of maybe being able to fulfill the rights of a wife. Barakallahu fiqh. We say, Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa fiqh barakallah. Very long, detailed question. Very important question. First of all, we ask Allah, the sublime and the most high, to give you shifa. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma uh, we ask Allah to cure you, to remedy you, and to give you good, strong health. Allahumma ameen. That's the dua that we make for you. And we ask Allah to make you patient. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by His beautiful names and perfect attributes to make you firm and to make you strong. Ameen. That's the dua that we make for you. Secondly, I would advise for you to get married. As the Prophet wasalam, advised the Muslim youth to marry. As Abdullah Mas'ud who narrated when he went to Uthman ibn Affan who gave him the advice that the Prophet uh, had gave to get married. So therefore, get married, uh, but be upfront with your situation. If you find a good sister, religious first and foremost, has good character. If you find one that has deen, good character, she's beautiful, she has wealth, but specifically deen and character. A good girl, inshallah, tell her your situation, explain to her your life, if she accepts it, and if she realizes what she's going to have to go through, the ups and the downs, alhamdulillah. Perhaps a righteous, beautiful woman will help you, will make you feel better, will give you that extra strength, the extra incentive to overlook the problems and the faults that you have in your life. I know for sure everybody has problems, everybody has weaknesses, everybody has sicknesses and illnesses. So that's my advice, is to be upfront. As the Prophet ﷺ has told us about the seller and the buyer, he says, if they're truthful, and if they're clear, if they're clear and truthful, huh? the Prophet ﷺ says, uh, then their contract will be blessed. And, and if they lie, and if they hide, if they hide and they lie, the barakah of their contract will be strict. So if you're upfront, if you're clear with the sister, you tell her upfront everything. I can do this, I can't do that. Some days I'll be a nice husband, other days I may be irritable, I may be tired, I may be sleepy, I may be this. And if she accepts that clearly, and you're truthful, and you're honest, as we said in the hadith, then bithinillah, hopefully Allah will give you barakah. So that's the nasiha that we give you, to be patient. Uh, obviously try to seek the shifa from Allah, with the Qur'an, using the Qur'an, the adhkar of the Prophet wasalam, eating and drinking the things that the Prophet did, and advised the people to do. And I would advise you in general, to use the medicine and the normal, Processed medicine, you know, things that come from a laboratory uh, in moderation and moderation and try to find and seek a natural cure to the best of your ability, to the best of your ability. That's my advice and that's the du'a that we make for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surely knows best.